Hello. Oh gosh, my voice is going. That was crazy. Oh, no, uh, really? Yeah, I guess. Oh. Either that or it's puberty's coming. <laughs> uh, finally, my voice is going to drop. Anyway, welcome back to Gotham Sound's coverage of NAB 2024. Gotham Sound, a place where you can buy and rent sound equipment. I'm working on a tagline. None I of like it's it. working. No, you did it. It's I like it. Where it is possible to do those things. Anyway, I'm here with Kyle with the good hair from 16 by 9. Thank you, sir. Rapping about Orca. Yeah. Um, what is up? So we have uh, a couple new things that we've uh, just developed. Right now we have a, the OR-119. Oh, OR I can hold this for you so oh, you can have okay. your hands. There you go. Okay. Say it again. OR-119. Uh, it's a cable management. So you have your folds in here. Everything has the bungees so you can get real organized. SD card slots. And all folds up nice little hanger. So great on set, productions, or just, uh, you know, for everybody's got a box of cables, right? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll, I'll just hold it. You got, you got a lot of things, this. hands to use. All right. And then, um, so most people are familiar with our uh, OR444, and that is the um, heavy-duty vest harness that we have. So recently, we redeveloped it. To include memory foam so it's a little more comfortable as far as uh you know you have a or 332 or um like a scorpio mixer you're gonna need the heavy duty stuff and so we found that um, this is gonna be a lot more comfortable and uh, we did upgrade a couple features so the lumbar support is improved here and uh, we added a safety stop for the wheel so if this error were to ever fail for some reason, uh, this is just the tightening for the buckle. If that were ever to fail, it's not going to release. Mm. Got it. So it will not fall off. So that's the 445, right? So the not 445 is the new, new. Very good. Okay. And then this over here. So this uh, was developed for video, but we found a, a use case for it in the audio world as a mini OR48. So our OR cart, famously. Um, and we take the tray from it and it's able to kind of hot swap on the top here. And it fits inside. <laughs> there you go. I, I can take it back. You got it back? Okay. Yes, sir. So it fits inside here. And so you're able to take these down uh, internally and then actually set it up with your mixer and all your sound gear and then set your tray on top and do a similar thing as the your cart. So we do have uh, a fancy stool that's being used right now, but uh -huh. that usually uh, comes in combination with this. And of course, we have the top handle, nice big sturdy blue, mm -hmm. and then the back, of course, if you do have to carry it, backpack straps. They fold away and are also removable. So if you, also removable, so if you end up um, needing to, to take this profile down, Skid plate on the bottom, hand grips on the side, and uh, yeah, that is it. Cool. I mean, so for somebody in New York City, like myself, mm -hmm. having that to be able to wheel around, but then be able to put it on your oh, back yeah. and go up a walk up or, uh, or up and down the subway stairs uh, could be very handy. Yeah, I think um, as far as what I've taken around New York City, because uh -huh. you've seen me carry yep. all the orca bags around. Stuff. Yep. Um, this one is definitely uh, a little more on the sturdy side. Um, and I, again, they built it for video. So all your gear, your mixers, sound stuff, it's going to be nice and secure in these. They all have aluminum framing on the outsides. I like this, these little nubs that, uh, you know, let it pop up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we, and again, we replace everything. So like if anybody has any problems, you know, reach out to Gotham Sound or just shoot us an email. And uh, I mean, I send... Zippers, clips, we send them all over the world all the time. You so. got parts, absolutely. Yeah, you guys are, are very good uh, at being responsive too. So that, especially you, <laughs> especially you. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let me just check the stream and see if we have any questions. Uh, we are going to show off another one of your sound-related products from a yes. different company um, in just a minute. But I want to make sure that if there's any Orca stuff, that we're hitting that. Um, so what, I know you just came back from lunch. Um, what did you have? Oh, I haven't eaten yet. You haven't? Did you come back just for us? Yes. Wow. I know I can smell it. 
Okay. All right. I'll take that. Uh, we are going to lunch very soon as well. So. Who knows? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Bad. Um, Colleen from Zaxcom many years ago uh, convinced me and some other people to go really? manicures. Yeah. Because it's just like, especially when we're on camera, all the time. Like you don't want people being like, "Ah, oh, your fingernails are gross." I get, I get pedicures. Uh, you should see my toes. They went a little nuts. I'm not, um, I'm not maintaining those. Yeah. Let oh, somebody yeah. else do the work. But exactly, exactly. So anyway, so yeah, I started to try to put a little. Spark it just goes in. with the the jacket so well. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you noticing. First one, you get. Uh, I don't know. Do you want? You can have a sip of this. This is a little surprise flask if you want. Whoa. I know. Pretty exciting. All right. So nothing on YouTube. Uh, somebody did say, is, is that a baby orc cart? Yes, it is. Right? Essentially. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's what we're, or we're seeing. Uh, people have been asking about it, um, at least in the L.A. scene right now. So I definitely can see a use for it in New York. It does have um, straps on the side as well mm -hmm. for uh, your boom pole. So it comes with clips that essentially go through these, and then you clip your boom pole or your, if you had a tripod, obviously. And then just lots of little pockets Stuff everywhere. On the side, yeah, perfect. Um, let's see. Oh, and Paul said that my fingernails are always on point. So thank you, Paul. We appreciate that. All right, awesome. So Kyle with the good hair, let's see the other thing. All right, Ready? sounds good Trying to me. Trying to stand up. Yep. You ready, Peter? Up we go. Oh, we're doing it live. All right, so let me see uh, if I can grab somebody. We're just going to mosey. Okay, let's mosey. All right. Thank you, Orca. Thanks, Orca. So now we are here switching to, to Easy Rig. Over to Easy Rig. All right. We're here with the... Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here with the creator as well. Uh, that's uh, Johan. Uh, he's de developed the uh, Boom Rig. Uh-huh. Yeah. So are we live? Are we yeah, oh, we're live. Oh, yeah, good. perfect. Hey, so this we got to, I'll, I'll hold this. So we're going to talk with, with him? This is Gotham Sound. Yes, okay. So, uh, I, 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 don't start yet. Oh, we already have. Oh, you already late. have? Yeah. Okay, Jamie, hey. stay, be, be, be in good. the little back. And I, I, I will come to you. Okay. So, hello. Hello. We have picture now. We have picture. We have, have a lot sound. of gear here. We have a lot of gear. You have something uh, above this, your head. This is for camera. But uh -huh. now we have done boom rig. Uh -huh. So ah. there you, you have Jim Roy. Tell, tell Americans what do you think about this. Oh, my God. This thing has saved my life. Seriously. Uh, I wound up working on a uh, show called uh, Beyond Skinwalker Ranch for a while where, you know, I've got five people out on, on uh, wires and long scenes, you know, just going and I'm able to just hang this thing over them as they're back and forth and, you know, we would run scenes that would last an hour. Uh -huh. So booming for an hour, uh -huh. this is fantastic. You have to meet another American boomer. Oh yeah, yeah we know Kevin. Hi Kevin. Hey, how you doing? Okay. okay. So this rig is very, very cool. I've been testing it out for months now. And uh, coming off of shoulder surgery and being off for a year, this has been a long time coming. So it's very, very, uh, just makes it easy. I've been wearing this rig for about 45 minutes right now. Oh, and with the, live with the microphone up and With extended. the microphone extended. Uh -huh. So I'm about, what, 12, 10 feet out, 12 feet. With and which, which shoulder is the, is the bum one? The this left one, one. Okay. yeah. How does it feel on, on the other shoulder? Nothing. It feels like nothing at all. Okay. So, and, uh, so the rig, uh, Peter, I don't know if you can see the rig, but um, there is, it looks like there's a harness you got going on here. Harness adjustment. Uh-huh. The knob, you can like add power or release power. More power, More power here. Uh-huh. Less power be, because... Yeah. Be, you know the boom, if it's long out, you need more power. I see. Short boom, less power. I see. So it's, it's assistance, yes. basically. It's like how much assistance you're getting. I see. Uh, it, it almost looks like you're a Ghostbuster. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. No, it keeps you, um, your, your posture better, too. Uh -huh. So and if you need to go from above to below, it's really easy. So, it's, so that's also, sometimes that's hard to do when you're having to go, you know, 
without a rig. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's makes it simple. Very cool. And you've got a whoop, gonna duck under you for a second. You've got a okay. K Tech pole with the counterweight on the back. And the counterweight definitely helps. Mm -hmm. so that's something we've been recently trying that out. So yeah. I've had a counterbalances for many, many years, but uh, just starting to reuse it again. And just because of having problems with my shoulder and it's, if you're not using the rig, it, the little extra weight definitely helps. Uh -huh. And then, um, but this is like nothing. It helps balance it more here, so. And have you gotten to use this in the field? I have, yeah, okay. I use it on Bad Boys 4. <laughs> I was Exterior. hoping you were going to name drop something. I'll go to drop it. <laughs> uh, but I was using a, a Shep Seamit in the Sonella piano with the wind jammer exterior, mm -hmm. uh, working around a couple of camera operators with easy rigs, mm -hmm. long scenes, multiple cast, and uh, you know working nights. It just was a savior. Awesome. I would have been not happy struggling all yeah. night so yeah yeah great okay so field tested field Kevin tested. approved Kevin I mean approved. you've been around for a minute couple yeah, yeah. a couple one one minute or two yeah you know you're 28 is fine and then all right we got one more thing what's up there is another thing that I want to show you see Jim Roy look okay. here for the mixer oh it's got clips you in see it the mixer yeah. mm -hmm. no way it's so nice being able to just make adjustments one-handed and what I've also done at times is put a little strap up and you can do a two hand no hands uh -huh. Uh -huh. I see <laughs> which is pretty cool so you secure it yeah in the back I see yeah. great so it's, it's really it's an all-in-one uh, harness yeah and you know if you need to come down it's just that easy yeah and it's silent yeah it's yeah. silent it's smooth um, and it's got you know those little adjustments that you always need to make when you're when you're booming and, and keying people. So um, it is really just a brilliant thing. Yeah. Okay. Gotta love it. Great. All right. So Kyle, I'm going to bring you back over here just because it's it's Kyle. But um, so we have a couple of comments that I just want to run by. Yeah. So that you can see. Let's see. So we talked about the. Uh, oh, is do you know if that baby orc cart is TSC TSA carry on? It is not. Not. It's too too big for that. Too big. Um, let's see. Chris said the boom rig looks pretty impressive. Has pricing been announced yet? Yes. So uh, list is going to be around twenty two hundred dollars, and then without the vests is going to be around fifteen hundred dollars. Got it. Okay. Perfect. And is it available now? So it's going to be available in about a month. Uh, they are just working on a last minute feature uh, where the arm stops to hold it. So um, yeah, about a month. Okay. Great. And then uh, is the rig ambidextrous? Because I notice it's coming over both of their right shoulders. It's only over the right shoulder. Or is it, is it ambidextrous? No. No, okay. Right shoulder. It's for right for varieties only. Um, you can see. switch uh, your sides. Hold on. Uh, I can't hear you, Pete. Oh, sure. Yeah. Got you it. can switch it. Okay, uh, and so... You just change the hand positions. Oh, so you can switch. It is ambidextrous. Yes, you, you can change your hand positions, but not the arm. Uh, I see. Hand positions, not arm. Got it. So hands, no problem. All right, and then uh, Juan wants to know if I can boom for the rest of uh, this time. It shouldn't be that hard. Sure, why not? Um, it sounds fun. Uh, let's see. And it says, how would anyone use the Easy Rig boom support without the vest? You, you wouldn't. I couldn't hear that one, sorry. Oh, how would anybody use the Easy Rig boom support without the vest? I mean, I think the answer is you wouldn't. Oh, if you already have an existing vest, um, mm -hmm. and then we also will be selling the vest separately on its own. So let's, you know. Got it. That's okay. a good question. Yeah. I, uh, I, just, I just know that we sell it without the vest for some reason. I mean, you know, it does feel like for whatever reason there's... Uh, You're going to miss out on features not using their vest, and... Um, but I'm, I'm supposing you could, might, you might could, have other options. Yeah, you could probably attach it to something out. I'll, I'll be know. honest, I, I shouldn't have said anything, but it's, <laughs> it's out there. Yeah, yeah, the, you, you would get the vest. But, you know, there are any number of reasons why people wouldn't want something. Um, so you're just offering it for more flexibility. Okay, well, great. Well, this is super exciting. Um, I mean, really, like, it's nice to see. And that looks just so simple. Yeah, I think it's an, a really elegant design, especially for 
longevity to be able to do one-handed operation, no-handed operation, have your mixer right there in your hands, uh, all in this really lightweight package is impressive to say the least, but being able to store it all up into a bag and then you know, make it part of your production is, I think, an important, yeah. important part of it. Very cool. All right. Well, listen, I have one last question from yeah. uh, Paul. Um, can you adapt an existing Easy Rig vest to work with the with the uh, I don't have an answer to that. I okay. don't believe so. Just based on the footprint of the power pack is different. Mm -hmm. um, but there could be mods made. I no idea. We'll figure it out. Okay. Well, it's so new. I, I don't have answers. I'm sorry. All right. No. Good. We'll have to touch base on another live stream. Oh, absolutely. Uh, when this comes out in approximately a month. Yeah. Uh, so pre-orders now. Um, all the information has been sent to Gotham. So. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. You'll have one at the expo, right? I might. I just had a, a baby, so I, I don't know if I'll be heading out that way uh, this year. But Man, how are you so well rested? I'm not. <laughs> I had to come to Vegas to get sleep. There Imagine you go. That. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Well, Kyle, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, also, thank you for being with us. Oh. Um, let's go get some lunch. Uh, thanks for tuning in to yeah. our Gotham Sounds coverage of NAB 2024. Uh, we're going to take a lunch break, and then we'll be back with more after we eat.